What's up guys? Crazed here and today Well this is not Halo. Not even the division. What is this? What what? It's kinda crazy. And it's a taxi. Eh, sounds like Crazy Spartan to me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check this out, guys. I remember this game. I remember this when it came out. Oh man, that just says how old I am. I remember this came out in the arcade. Do you even remember an arcade? I know some of you guys do. Some of you do. Probably not a lot of you. An arcade used to be this crazy place that didn't have all these uh, uh, silly little... Uh, hey, get out of the way. Get out of the way. There. There. That'll learn you. <laughs> An arcade was actually a really kind of cool place. It uh, had all the latest games and the best stuff. Uh, if you wanted to play like the best video games, you had to go to an arcade because the home console versions just could not compete with it. Street Fighter 2, that was the big thing back then. Oh man, I love Street Fighter 2. Man, they had like how many iterations? Street Fighter 2 Hyper Version, Turbo Version, Extra Turbo Super Hyper Digital Crazy Wacko Doodle Version. I don't know. They had so many versions of Street Fighter 2, it was amazing. And of course, Mortal Kombat and all this other stuff. But I, like I said, I, geez, arcades were fun, man. I loved going to them. Unfortunately, they required quarters and you had to pay to play. And a lot of them were... That was the original pay to play. The original pay to play. <laughs> I just realized that. It's like, these people are bad drivers. Get on the road. Get off. Get off my... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Man, I loved going to an arcade back then. As a matter of fact, and this is kind of sad. This is kind of sad and pathetic. Uh, but, hey, I still got the girl. <laughs> As I took my wife on our first date, and I, I don't even really consider it a date, per se. It was more like a, uh, it's like, well, let's be friends and let's see how this goes. So we even had another person with us, so it was like, yeah. Uh, we weren't really, I can't completely miss that. Uh, so I took her uh, out to an arcade, uh, was one of the big things. And she played a couple of them other games that you win tickets off of and stuff like that. And she got me a little heart pencil. Uh, basically, it was like Valentine's Day. It was literally Valentine's Day uh, when we did this. <laughs> so. Yes, I am about the cheesiest, clichéest person you could ever possibly imagine. But yeah, that was like our first date. Went to an arcade, uh, had some fun. Uh, she she won me a little, uh, just a little pencil. Had a little heart design on it and had a big old heart eraser on top. And believe it or not, I kept that thing for a long, long time. And unfortunately, we don't have it anymore. Uh, it was lost uh, for, you know, it's been almost 20 years. 20 years, guys. I've been married to my wife almost 20 years. Now, that is something, especially in this day and age. And this, I mean, it's kind of crazy to think about 20 years being with the same person. But, you know, I love her more today than I did back then. And it's just grown and grown. And it's amazing I say this is amazing because largely because the stuff that her and I have been through, not a lot of people could have survived. And I am actually very, very proud of that. And we still have our times. We still have our days when we just struggle. And look, I failed. I failed. Didn't get him there in time. We still have our days. But man, I think at the end of the day, we know that uh, we love each other and we know that... Uh, we're going to be there for each other when times get hard. And, and trust me, we've been through some of the hardest things that anybody could ever possibly imagine. And it saddens my heart that uh, so many people out there are uh, just a little bit of bump in the road and they're ready to call it quits on their marriage. Well, guess what? That's marriage. That's the way it is. You're going to have bumps in the road. You're going to grow. You're going to learn and, and Learn to be with them and, and learn from them. And uh, it's just, it's incredibly, uh, it's just amazing. And marriage is one of the best things that you can possibly do in your life. 
I'm not saying it's it's like an option for everybody because it might not be. It might not be. That might not be something that you're being called to do uh, at any point. But when you you're able to share things with somebody like that and share some of the let's just say intimate things. I'm not talking about uh, like anything like uh, crazy physical stuff or anything like that. I'm just talking about some of the stuff you can't share with anybody else. It doesn't matter. Oh, I just hit him. <laughs> and that is what's amazing. That's what amazing. That's what's that's what a marriage is. Is you have somebody to share that stuff with. And definitely, definitely recommend that. Recommend that. Um, I know. Look at that. I get an achievement. I know it's kind of a, a kind of a heartsy feelsy uh, type of thing, but you know what? That's what this game inspired to me. Is just I, I just felt like <laughs> it's like uh, remembering back then and remembering all that stuff. So I do apologize if that's not your thing. Oh, I put in my thing here. Let's see. Let's see if I can't do it. Hey, of course, I'm gonna put crazed. Can't. Nope. <laughs> all I can do is put in three letters. I'll do it this way. There we go. Close enough. <laughs> but guys, honestly, um, when it comes to that stuff, and like I said, my wife and I have been together through, for 20 years. And that poor woman has suffered with me. <laughs> and uh, I just have nothing but respect for her. She works hard. Um, yeah, she. We've been through a lot. That's all I can say. That's all I really kind of want to say at this point. Is is we've been through a lot, and, and it's just it's kind of crazy that so many people, so many people out there just give up, give up. And, and I'm sure there's some reasons at some point. But if you ever take a look at Phil Robertson, um, Phil Robertson uh, from Duck Dynasty, well. Phil Robinson wasn't exactly a nice guy when uh, him and Kay got married. Uh, as a matter of fact, he was very much a drunkard. Uh, he went cheating around, and uh, of course, drugs were probably not were, were on the table as well. I mean, just all sorts of things that he did, but she stuck with him, and he uh, came to the Lord, and, and his, his life was just flipped around flipped around and that's what I really want to say here is that when you do that and you put God at the center of your marriage you, you can go through so much and you are going to be able to survive it because you have that I know I know it's probably not something that you wanted to hear at this point because but you know what I'm playing crazy taxi it's crazy I'm going to go with it and that's, I mean, that's the truth, guys. That's that's the honest truth. When you do that and you put God at the center of your marriage and he can change you. I mean, it, he's changed me. He's changed me and, and I feel so bad sometimes that I didn't do it sooner because I think my life would have been even better, especially, especially beforehand. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's hard to explain. I mean, if, if you don't understand it, by all means, do some research. Check this stuff out, guys. Because God's real, 100%, and he wants to be part of your lives. And I can say from experience that it's amazing what he does. It's amazing. And I really wish that everybody could have that because uh, it is, truly is amazing. And I know this is kind of an odd conversation for a gameplay of Crazy Taxi, but I'm going to have it anyways because, hey, uh, <laughs> this is my life and this is uh, where it came from, you know. I mean, arcades have been part of my thing and Crazy Taxi was definitely part of there. I didn't play a whole lot of it because I was bad, as you can see, <laughs> and I've lost a lot of quarters. But anyways, this is going to wrap up here pretty quick. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, enjoy it. Do click, check out the links that I put in the end of the video sometimes. Uh, it's amazing. It truly is to see uh, what God does and what, he, what he's capable of. 
if you allow him to do so. But I am out of here, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. And done. <laughs> All right, thanks. This is crazed. I'm out of here. I will start to check out how you did today. Now let's take a look. Klaus D. Lassens. Comment, like, and subscribe.
comment, like, and subscribe.